Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we are going to talk about Jean Shrimpton. Jean Shrimpton was a supermodel in the 1960s and she is said to be one of the first supermodels because she was incredibly popular. She was discovered in 1960 by a photographer and from that moment on her career just skyrocketed. She is said to have been the best earning model, the most photographed model, the most beautiful model. She was dubbed the face of the 60s and the face of swinging London and her photos were just everywhere. She was on covers of all the big magazines, all the fashion campaigns, um, beauty campaigns. She did it all and she was everywhere and rightfully so I'd say because she was really incredibly gorgeous. Jean Shrimpton really embodies that typical 60s look and she very much contrasted with the models that were popular in the 50s. So she really kind of embodied this this new beauty ideal, which Twiggy also fit into, by the way. Those two really had that typical look of the 60s with the um, cut crease makeup and the pale lipstick and the kind of more wave-like figures. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate her iconic look. I went for kind of a mix of a couple of her photographs. Um, to kind of create a kind of standardized 60s Jean Trimpton look and this is what I came up with. So let's start with the makeup. I'm going to begin by applying foundation all over my face to even out my skin tone and blending this out nicely. Then I'm going to apply concealer underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles and get rid of any imperfections that I have anywhere. When everything is blended out, I'm going to go over with a layer of powder to mattify my face and make sure everything is set in place. And then I'm moving straight on to the eyebrows. Jean Shrimpton has very kind of high arched kind of posh eyebrows they have been called by some. Um, so I'm going to try and make my eyebrows look a little bit higher than they are. So I'm going to draw them in on the top of my eyebrows into a little bit more of an arched shape. And I'm just using a couple of eyeshadows mixed to make my natural eyebrow color. All right, so when that is done, I'm moving on to the eyeshadow. And for this, I'm going to begin by applying a white eyeshadow. And this I'm going to apply on the moving part of my eyelid and on the inner corner of my eye. And this is going to be kind of a highlight and enhance that kind of doe eye effect that was so popular in the 60s. And I'm also going to apply this on my brow bone. And I'm going to apply it a little bit lower than I normally would, just to kind of, again, create more space between my eyebrow and my eye optically. Then I'm going in with a pencil brush into a grey eyeshadow and I'm going to use this to create my cut crease. Now Jean's cut creases aren't as sharp as Twiggy's, so I'm going to make this a little bit softer and just kind of blend it out ever so slightly, but make sure that there's a focused darker line in that crease. So don't blend it out like you would for a modern look. I'm just going to layer this so apply a couple of layers of that grey on so you get the right intensity that you like. And then I'm going to apply eyeliner. Jean wears a beautiful winged eyeliner in many of her photos. I'm going to try and recreate that. And this is very much an eyeliner that starts with a wing and then is kind of straight across the rest of the eyelid. I love this eyeliner shape. So I'm going to start by creating a line that goes pretty much from my eye towards the end of my eyebrow. That's kind of the guideline that I'm going to use. And then from there, I'm just going to draw a straight line to the highest point of my eye and color all of that in. And then just continue this line connected to the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So then I'm going to apply mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And when that is done, it is time for false eyelashes. Jean is seen wearing some pretty dramatic false eyelashes in some of her photos, not all of them. So I'm going to go for a set that kind of matches the eyelashes that I saw in one of her pictures and after I have applied these I'm going to go over with a layer of mascara to kind of clump them together um, because my eyelashes are too spread out I'd say compared to her so yeah this is going to help make it look more like her false eyelashes did and there's the eye makeup done so next thing I'm going to do is apply some blush I'm just taking this bright pink blush I saw that they just used whatever color, you know, was trendy or fit the clothing that she was wearing. So I'm going to go with pink today and I'm just applying this on the outer part of my cheekbone. And then just blending it inwards, making sure the color is most concentrated on the outside. And then for the lips, I'm going to take a soft, nudie, 
pinkish color which was very trendy back in the 60s and you can see Jean wearing this a lot in pictures as well so I'm going to apply that and I'm going to slightly overdraw my top lip to resemble hers a little bit more she has the most amazingly gorgeous lip shape so I'm going to kind of try and imitate that just using this lipstick okay so there's the makeup done now moving on to the hair Jean wears this typical kind of 60s flick in the bottom of her hair very often um, and she also often has bangs but I found this one picture where she has this kind of side swept longer bangs so that's what I'm going for because that's something I can imitate so I'm first going to spray my hair with some heat protector and then I'm going to make a side parting in my hair kind of in the place where she has it in the picture and then I'm going to tease my hair I'm starting at my crown or a little bit behind there and I'm just working my way forward and teasing everything kind of working around that parting that I have and this is really going to create a big poofy hairstyle that I'm going for. So when I've teased everything, I'm going to smooth over the top with my comb and kind of mold it, mold all of this hair into the right shape that I see in the picture. And then I'm going to take that fringe part of my hair, swoop it backwards and pin it down there with a bobby pin. So to create this flick on the bottom of my hair, I'm going to take a straightening iron and then I'm just going to take sections of my hair and flicking them outward by just giving my curling iron a little twist. Not too much because you're gonna get curls if you twist it too often, but just a little flick like that. Very simple motion. It took me a little while to perfect this because I've never done this before, but I think I got it pretty well on the end. <laughs> so then all there's left to do is to spray this with hairspray and there is your Jean Shrimpton look completely done. So I really hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more beauty beacons videos. I have one coming up every Sunday. If you have any requests for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of, leave a request in the comments below. I will look through and pick someone out for next week. I will thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!